All right, welcome back. We continue right here on the Bordison Bordis Hotline. Bob Pompiani, Gene Collier. If you read the Post Gazette today, Gene had a column about Colin Kaepernick. And Gene, I like you, am a little surprised he's still not in the game, considering how many teams really need quarterbacks. And I'm not saying that he's right now elite, but he did take a team to a Super Bowl, and he does have the experience of leading San Francisco in that direction. Now, uh, I realize what happened, but. Man, what would happen if there was a need here in Pittsburgh? An obvious need for a long, hopefully that'll never happen, but if it is, yeah. would they call him? Well, I think they would. They called Michael Vick, um, and they, they've shown they can put that kind of a quarterback into this system. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, this is one of the things I said in the column. Thanks for mentioning it, Bob. I mean, if they were to go to Cleveland on that opening weekend, in the same situation they were this weekend with both Ben and Landry Jones off the table, they will not start Joshua Dobbs. They'd be better off starting Colin Kaepernick. And, you know, I like Joshua Dobbs, but uh, NFL coaches love guys who have been in games and won games. And as you mentioned, you know, he took that team to three consecutive NFC Championship games and a Super Bowl. And uh, last year his rating was like 90. It's preposterous that he's not playing. Yeah, and I'm surprised at this point uh, that he hasn't gotten a job. I thought for sure with Miami yeah. after Tannehill, that was right. the logical. Instead, they go in and bring Jay Cutler back, and Jay right. Cutler hasn't done much at all of late. Well, he was in the intern program at Fox Broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs> Joe in Garfield joins us right now on the Sports Call. Hey, Joe. Bob and Gene, how are you? Hey, What's up? You? This is simple about the Pirates organization, okay? Number okay. one, Neil Huntington is drafted horribly. Look at the players that are 21, 22, and 23 he's missed on. And number two, the year they won 98 games, Bob and Gene, they led the National League in airs. Whether it's baseball, football, basketball, or hockey, the game will dictate what you need to do to get better. They are horrible defensively. They can't run the bases. When you're fundamentally compromised, you're seeing what happens. That's all I have to say. Well, that's well said. I think a lot of people agree with that, Gene. Um, sometimes baseball IQ is not their strength. I got no problem with that call. No. I agree. We see it a lot, and it shouldn't happen at this level, at least as consistently as it's been happening. All right, let's go out to line five. That's Roy and Bonaire. What's up, Roy? Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Bob? How you doing, Gene? Hey. Hey, you? this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, and, and <laughs> I'm going to the, I'm gonna go off the, 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 the sports thing. What I want to know is, Bob, listen to you all my life. Gene followed you and worked reading the paper, everything in your thing. You left sports for a period of time and mm -hmm. went to a different part of the paper. Right. And I, 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 I just never understood why you did that whenever you was, you was the best. You, there's nothing, <laughs> well, yeah. he is. He's, he's got, got a style that is you, all nothing, his own. You didn't need anybody to, to tell you what you do. do you did it. And, and it was like DV said, the inevitable Gene Collier. <laughs> well, thanks very much for that. I mean, that was a you know, uh, that was just my own inconsistencies, and you know, I got tired of it there for a while, and then I was away from it, and then I got tired of being away from it. I mean, it's, it's not much more complicated than that. But thanks for your kind. And now we're just tired. Yeah, now we're just tired all the time. All the time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Though. Matt and Shaler is back with us. Hello, Matt. How you doing? Oh, I'm great, Gene. I was just Matt. about to give you a compliment, and well, then you, know, you said Colin Kaepernick. You know, I'm I'm sure <laughs> James Harrison will choke slam him as soon as he sees him take a knee when he's in his Fidel Castro well, T-shirt. Well, first of all, that <laughs> yeah. thing that James Harrison that was erroneous, and that was put out there, and it was quote fake news. Well, so. I, I, he said that before. I've heard him say that. Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm, if you were basing it on what you saw today, you heard who say that accurate. before? Uh, I've heard Matt. James Harrison say that he will does not like players taking a knee for the national anthem. Well, then he doesn't and like Marshawn Lynch because he did that the other night. Yeah. He took a seat. I which, never heard that. But yeah, I know, and wrong. I'm disappointed in Marshawn Lynch. I hate it when players do this stuff. Yeah. What's yeah, on your mind, Matt? My question is. Is when is the the trade deadline with the waivers end? The thirty first. I mean, there's still I think Beltre out there from uh, Texas. Yeah, you're not gonna. They're not gonna get Giancarlo. You're dreaming if you no, think I that. No, we never. <laughs> you no, we too. said it. We, I say guys yeah, like Curtis Granderson. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, there's no deadline now, Matt. I no, mean, you can make a deal whenever they clear waivers. Right, right. Somebody will block somebody if they don't want you to be taking somebody from another team. You just have to have waivers to make right. a trade. That's all. All right, we got to take a break. We'll do it and come back with more right here on Pittsburgh CW.